Ready to revolution. You Space. There's, there's a need for them in a certain way, but I think we're all curious here. We're all enthusiastic for that gasoline smell, for that rubber tire burning, for performance for that sound. I love an engine sound, and I think that's not really replaceable with an electric car. I'm not talking bad about these cars. Again, they have their space. I love Liquid Moly, I love Motorola, I love Passion, I love racing, and my favorite race series are besides Formula One, also IMSA racing. So uh, it's just something I would say, yes, it's picking up more, but it's not it's, it's not decided by now by society or by infrastructure, whether it is going to take everything. I doubt it highly. I think there's more technology to be coming, and uh, we all going to have our fair share in that. I think my answer is how long it would cost. I could talk hours on this topic. Obviously, I, I work in an industry where I meet loads of different manufacturers and people are responsible for the decisions they make globally, right in Europe, here in the United States. And it's very interesting to learn and understand more about this and how electric cars have very much become a political topic in many ways to help beyond what it's about. If you were stripped that away and took it into a point of view of looking at shortest distance, you want to go out on a relaxed drug journey, or you want to go and break records on a track strip with a molest pile or something, right? It's not a good thing. 